Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Um, we here in the Bennett household dragging a little bit this morning, but um, it's all good. We had such a great birthday weekend for Jacob. Man, we had kids in and out of this house. Um, I think we had like, I don't know, like four or five kids in between. We had sleepovers Friday and Saturday night and play dates, and, um, and then we had the birthday party yesterday. Um, busy busy but um, it was so great Jacob loved his hoverboard that we got him he just like I don't know there's not many, very many things that Jacob gets giddy about but the smile on his face when he took off on that hoverboard he had some friends over um, when we gave it to him and he just he was so proud of his hoverboard it was so great and then we went to um, the sky high the trampoline place and just watching him play ball with his friends and um, we played laser tag and I got in there in the laser tag room and actually played with him and it was he was so cute with his gun he had it like propped up on his shoulder like it was like real gun and he was really serious and running around and hiding and it was so great um, to see him so happy and um, just really thank the Lord for Jacob and bringing him into our lives and oh man it's hard it is hard it's so hard sometimes but um, it is so very good and he's been a gift to our family for sure um, so um, Saturday uh, I just wanted to share this morning um, some of my quiet time from Saturday morning I'm telling you it was a busy it was a busy weekend so I didn't get a lot of um, quiet time to be honest but I did um, Saturday morning um, and I just had some thoughts about, um, I was just thinking about the gospel and how, and I just had this, God just, I think, give me this um, vision of just um, a courtroom and how, like, the kingdom of God actually has, there's a way that things work and there's laws and there's, you know, just like the United States has laws that things, says that things are good and evil and they are punishable, um, God's kingdom has the same thing and ultimately that is the truth, that there are, um, there's good things and there are evil things and we have a judge and God says that um, that we are unholy um, and the only God is holy and we've offended him so we've offended we have offended God but God in his mercy not only um, set you know declares us um, separated from him but he also um, provides the way for us to be um, pardoned and justified and so I mean if you think about that from a real um, from a real court case so like the people that are accused from the state um, or or the country um, they're accusing them but the judge himself actually provides um, a way out at a very very great cost um, personally just to see um, just to see us be pardoned and reconciled to himself actually and so I just had this um, picture of this courtroom and, and just how Satan um, you know he is called the father of lies and the accuser and how often um, we leave that that court case and we have been declared holy through Jesus and pardoned and justified and yet how often um, the accuser continues to accuse us and um, remind us of our past and remind us I mean even through even after we've done that just keeps reminding us of where we fail and we always continue continually have to go back to Jesus and say he did live the perfect like I did it and then I think it's moments of gratefulness that we can have um, I was so I was re I was thinking about that um, on Saturday and then this morning I was reading Isaiah 43 um, 18 and let me just read that it says um, forget the former things do not dwell on the past see I am doing a new thing now it springs up do you not perceive it I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland and just that just that sentence forget the former things do not dwell on the past and I was thinking about you know this kind of idea of you know this courtroom and how Satan accuses us and and God says forget it forget the former things he's like I'm doing a new thing and I think he says that to us every single day we have new mercies every single day so I'm just I just feel like us coming off of a weekend it's Monday it's a new week and it's especially a good time for to heed those words let's forget the former things like once we've come to God in confession we can let those things go and God is doing a new thing today he's doing a new thing we can forget the things of the former I mean of the past and you know tell Satan to go away he has no room to accuse us because Jesus has already paid the price um, for us and so I think we just need to go in um, without 
um, today without shame, without guilt, without condemnation. Jesus has uh, paid the price and we can move on. He is doing new things every, all the time, every single day. We've got new mercies. And um, so I think it's just good to go into our week um, with that kind of mindset. No matter what happened, we start over today. Thank God. Um, all right, let me pray for us as we close. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for your new mercies even today. I just um, thank you that you provided a way for us um, in our sin, that um, in your great grace and mercy, that, um, that you have declared us um, new um, in Christ. Thank you, um, Jesus, for your sacrifice, for your blood, um, and for your broken body. And I just pray that we live in the new, that we forget the past and we do not dwell on it. And we just remember you new mercies that we have, you have for us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, um, I saw Jamie, you joined. Good morning, Jamie. Um, so, um, today, um, back to work, and I actually, um, today I have my appointment um, with the new doctor to hopefully get some blood work uh, going. And I just have to tell you guys, um, not that we have to like keep harping on my health issues, but I have stayed gluten free the past week and I already am feeling so much better guys. I mean, really, I can actually tell a difference with in a week of not eating gluten. Um, it's not, it's not totally solved the problems, I'm, but anyway, it's been good. So, um, all right, I'm going to get my day started and hope you guys have a wonderful one. Bye Jamie. Bye everybody. Have a good day.